One small step for man, a giant leap for mankind. These were the words quoted by Neil Armstrong, who was one of the first men to land on the moon. Since then, space exploration has pushed many scientists to explore the solar system and the rest of the universe. However, recently, in a new mission, Australian scientists said that they will try to grow plants on the moon by 2025. So today, in a little more about, we'll be talking about this new mission where Australian scientists are paving the way for a future colony by growing plants on the moon by 2025. Biologist Brett Williams from the Queensland University of Technology said that seeds would be carried by the Beresheet 2 spacecraft, which is a private Israeli moon mission. These seeds would be watered inside the sealed chamber after landing and monitored for signs of germination and growth. Plants will be chosen on the basis of their coping mechanism in extreme conditions and how quickly they germinate. One likely choice is an Australian resurrection grass that can survive without water in a dormant state. After landing on lunar surface, the plant's growth and general health will be monitored for 72 hours and data and images will be sent back to Earth. Scientists and school children from around the world will be invited to use the data to conduct their own experiments to identify which plant varieties have the best chance of growing on the moon. Academics from several Australian universities along with colleagues in Israel, South Africa and the United States believe this is a preliminary step towards growing plants for food medicine and oxygen production, which are all crucial to creating and sustaining human life on the moon. It is believed that if one can create a system for growing plants on the moon, then one can grow food in some of the most challenging environments on Earth. This project has been run by Lunaria One organization. These Australian academics believe that a project to grow plants on the moon could help feed communities on Earth that suffer from climate-driven weather disasters. This project will be the first in a series of experiments to investigate whether plants can not only tolerate the harsh lunar surface but thrive. The scientists also feel that this mission could help solve problems on Earth. Researchers hope the moon mission will help reveal innovative ways to improve food production in harsh climates on Earth or after natural disasters when food supplies are often scarce. This means that if scientists are successful in growing plants in space, then we can address food security challenges here on Earth. So you could imagine that after you have a natural disaster and the population is trying to recover, being able to have systems where you can rapidly propagate plants in protected environments would be a great asset. Australian academics have said they hope to begin their lunar experiments by 2025. The researchers hope the lessons from this mission will help unlock new methods to boost sustainable food production on Earth and bolster food security in the face of climate-driven weather disasters. If the mission becomes successful, then it provides us with incredible insights into growing food in adverse conditions on planet Earth. This breakthrough will open new doors to sustaining life support system on Earth. On that note, share your thoughts with us and keep watching this space for more such content.